Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is an unboxing video. I have some jewelry pieces here, as well as a bag that I've been eyeing up as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So first up is this absolutely beautiful ring and I've been eyeing this up for the longest time and I'm so excited to finally have it. Um, so it's very similar to another cocktail ring that I have, which I absolutely love. Um, it's got kind of a, two tone effects, so one side is like sparkly and then the other side is plainer and then I love to wear it with my Atanti ring. I just love the combination and I saw this and I just thought it was just equally beautiful, like really, really lovely. So it's from Monica Vinader, so it does come in their beautiful packaging, so the box and then the little mini dust bag. So it's this absolutely beautiful ring and this has kind of um, like a wavy crisscross design. It is so stunning and like my cocktail ring it has like one side which is really sparkly and the other side that's plainer. So if you wanted to wear it for every day I think it's beautiful like it has just the right amount of sparkle but I also think it looks lovely really dressed up as well. Perfect for layering with other pieces or just wearing by itself. And I am just absolutely in love with it. Like, it is so, so gorgeous. I have been stalking on this website for a really, really long time. And I think it's just the perfect piece. Like, really, really dainty. I do like my kind of statement rings, but I also still like them to be really, like, elegant and easy to wear. Like, I don't like really chunky pieces. And I just thought this was absolutely perfect. Matches really well with other pieces I have as well. So it kind of blends in with my other jewelry items. And I am just super, super excited. It is the most stunning ring. As mentioned, this ring is from Monica Vinader. I am such a huge fan of their jewelry and they were nice enough to pot sponsor this video, which I am so incredibly excited about. So many of my everyday jewelry pieces are from them and I just absolutely love them to bits. So I am gonna be sharing a few new and items from them. I will include links to everything in the description section if you did wanna check anything out. They were also nice enough to give me a discount code as well and this works off the entire site so literally every single thing is included. Everything that I'm sharing here today is available with the discount code. I'm also going to be covering some of my favourites now in case you wanted some inspiration or if you're even doing some gift shopping as well. So if you watch my channel a lot, you will have seen me rave about this bracelet like countless times because it has been pretty much my most worn jewelry piece of the entire year, probably except for like my engagement rings. Like I wear it all the time and I absolutely love it. It's the Diamond Solitaire bracelet. And this is just like the perfect everyday piece. It's beautiful by itself. It's beautiful to layer to. And I just can't get enough. Like I said before, I do have a Cartier version as well. And that one has pretty much gone untouched ever since I got this because I just prefer this, like it's so gorgeous and sparkly, really easy to get on and off, and it's just the loveliest, loveliest thing. And then I also got the matching necklace as well. It's just such a beautiful line. I am so obsessed with it. Again, the perfect layering piece, but it does look just as lovely by itself as well. And this whole line is so classic and gorgeous. I can't imagine who wouldn't love it. It's a really nice gift idea as well. I've got the bracelet for both my brother's girlfriend and also Dan's mum for Christmas. I'm so excited because I think they're both going to love it, but it is the most stunning line. And then I also had to mention their pearl line as well, which is so unbelievably gorgeous. So my earrings right here are the pearl drop ones. These are just the most elegant earrings I own. They are so beautiful. I'm not typically speaking a huge fan of drop earrings, like I generally prefer to wear studs, but the exception is definitely these because they just move in the most beautiful way. They are still streamlined enough to feel not overly fussy around my ears, which is what I think I don't like. Very easy to just pop on. The pearl is absolutely beautiful. It's more of like an organic feel as well to it. Really, really lovely, but they still feel very fresh and modern. And I'm just so in love with these, the most elegant earrings. And then my pearl necklace as well, which oh, I love so much. I have worn this thing countless times. It's so beautiful. It's very customizable as well. So you can team it with different necklace lengths, different chains, like really, really versatile. I think I went for the longest one, um, but I will leave the exact one I went for down below. It is so beautiful though, like really, really elegant as well. You have that beautiful pearl detail. And this just goes with everything, you know, perfect for dressing up a simple sweater or a t-shirt, but equally lovely with a full-on dress as well. It is just the loveliest thing. 
And then two newer favourites. I didn't realise I had quite so many favourites until I started going through them, um, so I will try and zip through these quite quickly because otherwise the whole video is just going to be my favourites from Monica Minida. Um, but I just got this beautiful necklace in um, and I had the pendant personalised and it's a really, really lovely gift idea if you did want something a little bit more special and personal. They do free engravings on so many of their jewellery pieces and also their jewellery boxes too, so it's a really, really nice gift idea. So I got this chain separately and then I also have the pendant right here and the pendant is a beautiful locket. It has this stunning braided design all the way through and then it just opens up from the bottom. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here yet. If you have any suggestions, like please let me know because it's quite small so I'm not sure what I should put in there. But I did get it engraved with the letter L which is the initial of the name that we've chosen for baby. So I thought this was just so beautiful, a really, really lovely keepsake. It's a beautiful for necklace in and of itself as well like it really is stunning you can choose whether to do letters or motifs so you can do like hearts or stars really really lovely and it's just become one of my favorite pieces since getting it it is just absolutely gorgeous and then finally for my favorites i have to mention the bracelet that i got it is so beautiful. So this is the floating diamond line. Um, so in comparison to the diamond solitaire line, it's a little bit um, finer and daintier. So it has a very, very slim bracelet chain. And I thought this was just so pretty. Like it really sparkles in the loveliest way. It kind of catches the light, but because it's really fine and delicate, it doesn't feel like too much. Again, the perfect layering piece, so if you do like to mix and match your jewellery, I think this would be a beautiful addition. But it's also really lovely just by itself too, because it is so fine, like it doesn't get in the way, like I can just wear this all day long. I don't even notice I'm wearing it because it just feels like nothing and I just love how it sparkles and catches the light. Just really, really elegant and the perfect jewelry piece for, you know, people who like their jewelry but like it to be a little bit more under the radar and subtle, I just think it is absolutely stunning. And then speaking of really, really good gift ideas, um, I did just want to mention the jewellery box as well. So I originally got this for my mum, but I actually went ahead and got her a different one. Um, so I'm going to keep this one because I loved it so much myself. And I did see one that I thought she'd love even more. So they do come in their own little dust bags, which I think is so nice and just makes it feel like so special and fancy, like really, really great for gift giving. And then the actual box is just a really simple square leather box. It's beautifully made, like the leather is very, very nice quality. And you have this absolutely gorgeous um, kind of pebble-like zip. It's very, very substantial, like it feels quite weighty. And it has a really smooth zip. You just have the Monica Vinida logo right there and it opens up like so really gorgeous and um, these bits come out as well so it's a nice way to store your different bits of jewelry and you have the different compartments here as well as a space for earrings and rings and that sort of thing over on the left side I got this one in the light grey but then I spotted that they did a blush pink one and she absolutely loves blush pink so I ended up getting that one for her instead. I did get that one engraved as well and it was free engraving so I was super happy with that so I just got her initials on the top there and then it is the blush pink all the way through. It's exactly the same dimensions as this one but it's more of a wide open space which I actually think is going to suit her better because she often travels with quite a nice watch so it will just be plenty of space for her to store that. So. I am super happy about that. I think she's absolutely going to love it. I really, really love this one as well. And they are just the nicest gifts for any jewelry lovers in your life. So I did get two new pieces to match my floating diamond bracelet. I love the entire line. So they do the earrings, they do the necklace and the bracelet. So you can get the full matching set if you want to. And I just think it is so lovely. So the first one, they all come in the individual boxes. And then I do have the beautiful matching necklace. How pretty is that? Just like the bracelet, it is super fine and dainty, just absolutely stunning. The chain has that beautiful kind of shimmer effect to it. And then you have that gorgeous little floating diamond right there. Um, so this is like a drop pendant style. Again, absolutely perfect for layering, but if you did just want to wear it as a really subtle, lovely everyday piece, I think it's beautiful too. And I just think it's so gorgeous. Like, so obsessed with this entire line. I feel like Monica Vinader always knock it out of the park with really elegant, fresh designs um, that just feel really, really classic as well. And I am just so unbelievably excited about it. 
and then I have these beautiful dainty studs. So just like the um, bracelet and the necklace, like it matches exactly. And there's no encasing around the stone either, which is why I keep calling them floating diamonds. So you don't get any mess around, you just get like that pure diamond. And they just catch the light in the most beautiful way. Really lovely as an everyday stud. I think these would also work great as a second stud if you have more than one piercing. And I just cannot get enough of this line. Like if they brought up more pieces, I would want to get those too. Like they are just absolutely beautiful, possibly giving the Diamond Solitaire a run for its money in terms of my favorite items. I just think they are so lovely and just right up my street in terms of really dainty, very wearable, but also easily layerable as well. And then finally, I have this slightly larger box. I did get a new um, link chain, which I wanted to team with one of my pendants. So inside I have that beautiful link chain necklace. So the chain has the most beautiful shimmer to it. It is really lovely and I like link chains but I don't always find them really easy to wear, especially if they're a bit more on the chunky side. Whereas this is actually still very fine and dainty. So very, very wearable. You can of course wear this just by itself but I actually bought it to team with a pendant that I have. So I bought it to wear with my pearl pendant um, but you can mix and match things which is what I really love about their jewelry. Like they really do all go together. So if I wanted to team this with my locket I could do or other pendants like really really versatile it is fully adjustable as well so I can choose exactly how long I want to wear it I can wear it as a short necklace a long one like it is very very flexible this is actually a semi replacement one because I thought I had something similar to this early in the year but it has completely disappeared on me and I did a really big reorganization of my jewelry collection at the beginning of November and it was nowhere to be seen so I can only assume it's happy chilling somewhere with my green reef sweater. Complete mystery, um, but I am really, really happy with this. Very excited to now have another way of wearing my favorite pearl necklace. And I just thought this is great, exactly what I wanted. And then next up, I do have a little handbag unboxing. So this is from Dior. If you follow me on Instagram and you watch my stories, then you may already know what this is because I did ask your guys' opinions about what you thought about this bag. And I did get a lot of different opinions. And so I will share those in a second, but I'm gonna do the unboxing first. So it comes in their stunning packaging. As usual, you have this almost kind of book-like design. So it just opens up like so. And then you have the Dior card right there. I feel like Dior just put so much care and attention into like every single detail. Um, so you have a little blank card here and then you have a little quote. Um, so it just starts off, in matters of elegance, detail is of essential importance for Christian Dior. And then it goes on to say, we hope that this order will prove to be a source of delight. It's just like so nice, like little details like that I think make such a big difference. And then, oh wow, they actually give you a little, I assume this is a Christmas ornament as well. How cute is that? So it's a little um, gold star and it says Dior right there. Really, really pretty. And it has a card with a little QR code on the back saying scan the code to find our client advisors online. I feel like they really nailed a way to do like luxury shopping online just incredibly well. I know Chanel still hasn't gone online but I feel like Dior is like the model to match. Um, yeah, that is just a really, really beautiful little surprise. And then on the inside, I do have the dust bag with the gold Dior writing against a white background. <gasps> Oh, I've never seen this bag kind of properly up close in person. Like I've walked past it, but I've never like held one or touched one. So this is like an entirely new experience. So I'm very, very excited. Oh my days. Oh wow, it's beautiful. Um, so I went for the saddle bag, which I have been eyeing up for a while. I am old enough to remember when they first came out already popular, I was still in school and I clearly could not afford a Dior bag. Um, so it was definitely a lust after it from afar and I was so happy to see that they made a comeback. I didn't jump on the bandwagon right away, but this one's kind of grown on me. Not that I've ever disliked it at all, but I just wasn't sure if I was going to get the use out of it. But for whatever reason, I have been seeing these everywhere recently and it just made me want one more and more so I decided to take the plunge so it's actually surprisingly heavy like it feels very substantial for um, such a small bag again I've never actually felt one in real life so it is a little bit of a shock um, I don't think it's gonna be uncomfortable but you do definitely feel like the quality of the weight and then you have the CD logo right there and then it's this beautiful kind of um, pebbled leather all the way throughout you have the D right there as well and then on the inside, you have another care card as well. And then you do have another strap also. 
So the inside, it actually feels like a suede. Um, I don't think it's a microfiber. I guess it could be, um, but it feels a little bit different from the other microfiber linings I have. So I will check what that is. Um, and then you have a pocket right there at the back, which does zip up. So it opens and closes um, with this little bit right here, which is the magnet, which is actually really clever. I didn't realize that's how it opened and closed. Um, so there's no button or anything like that. So it's actually very seamless um, in that you don't have to think about it. Like it will just automatically do that, I think. And then on the back, you do have that nice big pocket as well. And that is actually fairly roomy and substantial. So you should be able to fit a fair amount of things in there as long as they are on the slimmer side. So you do have that nice adjustable strap. It isn't the longest thing in the world, um, but it is long enough to wear crossbody if you wanted to. And you do have a few adjustable settings there as well. So I obviously went for the rose pink one. Um, it's not an overly um, kind of super girly shade, I don't think. It's definitely more of a dusky pink. So I do think it's gonna be quite wearable. I was debating between this and the white one but I bought a lot of white bags this year so I thought I'd go for the dusky pink shade they also have a really nice blue they have black a cognac just a few different colors and to be honest I think it looks great in every single shade um, in terms of the feedback I got from Instagram, because I know so many of you asked me to share as well. Um, so basically it was split into two camps. Um, lots of people, well actually there were lots of people who really loved the bag and wanted to know thoughts. Um, but in terms of the people that owned it, lots of people loved it, um, but didn't get on with it because of the capacity. I am aware that it is very, very small indeed. Like, I don't know if you'll really be able to see that on camera, but it is definitely, um, it doesn't look large at all and it's quite structured and rigid. So I can imagine that I am gonna be pretty limited in terms of what I can fit inside. I was originally looking at the um, mini size and then I realized that was so small that you can even fit your phone in. So that was an absolute no-go for me. Like I always need to be able to fit my phone in fairly comfortably. Um, so I began looking at this size and this is kind of the capacity of a mini bag from what I understood. Like it doesn't feel or seem big at all. Like it doesn't seem overly small, um, but I guess that's just because of the shape. But again, because of the shape, you are kind of restricted. So that was pretty much the only big thing that people already mentioned in terms of why they didn't get along with it or why they didn't like it. Um, I think everyone really liked the style of the bag. Um, it was mainly just the capacity and then wanting like more room and just more functionality in general. That said, there were also a ton of people who really, really loved the bag um, and said that even though it didn't fit that much, they still absolutely adored it, wore it both ways as well, found it really versatile and just generally really carefree and just a really beautiful kind of elegant statement making bag um so those messages obviously went out and kind of convinced me um i do see what they mean like it is really really beautiful in person i am going to see how much can fit inside now um i am mentally prepared for it not to hold very much um but i feel like i'm okay at paring down my essentials now and i do think it is just the most beautiful thing hardware is beautiful leather seems really gorgeous and I just think it makes a really, really beautiful statement. If there's anything in particular you guys want me to kind of cover or keep in mind, I will do a kind of mini review of this at some point once I've had a chance to use it. So if there's anything in particular you wanna know, um, let me know and I will try and cover it when I do a review. But yeah, I am very, very excited about this beautiful bag. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, I will include links to everything I featured in the description section below. If you have any questions for me, then leave me a comment. And if you enjoy luxury unboxing videos, please do give us a thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Oh, how you do it. You blow my mind without a word. Oh, stuck upside down. I might be dreaming.